Okay, we're back. Do now, if you're wondering why I didn't just skip this boss battle thing, well, because I want to show you that I can actually do it. Uh, I'd just like to mention that I've only actually gone through the sacred grounds once because I don't want to go through it because I didn't want to go through it again because I had a save file for it. But since I already saved, whoop de do! Wait, wait, that doesn't make sense, but. Oh, I just never wanted to finish it, I guess. <laughs> well, I finished it once. Most of my other playthroughs have been just messing around. Playing with things. Like the different weapons you can get. I think there's eight weapons that you can only have five at a time. Yes. And yes, if you haven't realized, I upgraded my gun. Oh, wait. Yay, see? Not that hard. Plus, if you fight him, you get experience for your gun. Yay! Even though you lose it kind of fast. Once you start getting experience for your weapons, unless you want to purposely lose experience for that weapon, which I can only think of one that you'd want to do that for, the sword. Concerned, some people like the level 2 version of it better. And level Oh, wait. I'm just going to go grab that real quick. I don't really use it. But, might as well grab it for the heck of it. You know what? Who cares about grabbing it? I'm just gonna leave it. It's just a map. You don't really need a map in this game, though. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Do, do. Yes, of course she's been kidnapped. Oh no, she got kidnapped by a bubble. Hurry up. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. See that blue guy? Blue and orange guy? You can't attack him from the front. So what you do? Jump behind him when he tries to shank you. Shoot him from behind. See that green little white pixel you think? Talk to it. Remember it for later if you want a weapon which you can trade which you can trade for. Oh wow, it's a big mushroom. Dead. Arthur's grave, whoop de doo. Woo, we got a key. Hold on, just gotta show you something. See that hole? Remember it again. Yes, there's two things you have to remember. I must be crushing some people's brains now. No, get away. Do 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 do. Well, now that you got that key, there's a save where you're going, so no need to go there. So, haha. -ha. Just drop here. This house would be locked if you didn't get that key first. And save it if you want. And heal. Choose yes. Uh... If I just said... To permit access to it, do you think we're going there? And I gotta do something real quick, so be back. Ah, crap. 
I just realized that. It kind of went wonky on me when I tried recording, so... I'll just explain what happened between the time right now. Right now, I'm in Grasstown after finishing the A Corridor. I also defeated Balrog kind of easily. Got a missile launcher, got the fireball. And I also told you that when you were told to go here, that to kill that thing, go over to Santa's house, who is all to the way to the left. He had to get his key, which was right here, and then use it on his fireplace to get charcoal, which is right there, so that it'll save you a trip. Now what you need to do, oh, you also need, you'll, it'll also tell you to go over there, to go to Chaco's Chaco's house and go through her fireplace all the way over there. Talk to her fireplace and she'll tell you to grab jellyfish juice, which you can get from this big guy. That's it, I believe. This is butter. No, not really. Oh, crap. Also, don't get hit like I did. I just didn't really care. I should have cared, though, because soon I almost lost my mat. I almost lost my level 3. Polar Star. Now, this weapon, I suggest you start leveling it up, considering it can be very useful at times. Even though it doesn't shoot straight forward, some people might go, on, Well, this gun sucks. It's more strategic than other guns. Like, uh, say, um, Polar Star. Often the strategy is shoot and hope to dear God you don't die sometimes. <laughs> Not most of the time, though. Sometimes for me, it is, though. Also, every level you get with it, you can shoot one more fireball. Save it here. I'm going to do it real quick, since I'm kind of... Eh. I know I'm going to fall into a pit like a dumbass. Oh, I also to let you know that I am doing this commentary during play, and I can't guarantee that it will be uh, non uh, uh, what's the word I used well non vulgar basically so I will saying will be because I'm an angry person and I hate lots of things I also made an inside joke but nobody needs to care about that since it's an inside joke Jacob <coughs> I'm going to list the title as, as Cave Story 3. No, not like Cave Story Game 3 or something. What the hell? There. Now this thing? Oh, wait. It'd be best to go over here. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. It shoots at you. The fireball is really useful for taking out those guys in a bit. Fall down here. Save it if you want. I'm going to go save it because I know I'm going to get killed like an idiot. Well, wait. I can't save. Oh, well. Oh, wait. You don't even know you go here yet anyway. But still save. Boss fight coming up. This is where the fireball is useful. Just fire. Oh, and jump. And they won't be able to hit you. I love the fireball at times. Talk to this crack. Hey, over here, you look like a nice young man. Could you really help me out? Like, yeah, I'll help him. Try it on the door. Uh, first go in here. Ow, I did not see that. Okay, so what you do? Shoot that, run! Don't get hit by it. It kind of hurts. Don't kill it. Kill this one. Jump over here like this. Boom, you're done. Life capsule increased by five. Now kill it just because it's there. Oh, dodge. See, this is another reason why the fireball is useful. Slaughtered.
Alright, who hit me? Yeah, well. I'm just going to kill these guys real quick. And then I'll get back to a point. Okay, there. Now, open the door. Oh, but it's rusted shut. What? It's not the key to this room. Well, that's just great. Sucks to be him. 